the mitochondria is only passed down the female line. So mitochondrial Eve is our direct female line ancestor. Our mothers, 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 well, you get the idea. Consider the following graph. Here are four generations of humans, eight members each. Every single member of the current generation has this common ancestor along the female-only line. This means that the mitochondria they have in their cells, they got from her. This is their mitochondrial Eve. But look at the graph closely. Eve is not the only female common ancestor. All of the other females in the first generation are also common ancestors of everyone in the current generation. The only distinction with mitochondrial Eve is that she is the female line ancestor, everyone's mother's mother's mother. But there are other women in the first generation who are their father's mother's mother, or their mother's father's mother, or their father's father's mother. Since men do not pass on mitochondrial DNA to their offspring, None of these women's mitochondria have survived to the current generation, but they're still common ancestors and they've still contributed a lot of their nuclear DNA to the current generation. So Eve is not the only common female ancestor, nor is she the first human female. We can imagine the first generation in our diagram as having a long line of ancestors above it. She's not even the common ancestor of every single female. These females in the second generation are not related to her, and of course she's not an ancestor of the females in her own generation. Mitochondrial Eve just represents the woman who, as luck would have it, managed to pass on her mitochondrial DNA to everyone in the current generation. The first generation would have had their own mitochondrial Eve going back further. So Eve was not the first woman, not the only woman in her generation, not the only female progenitor of the race, not the only female whose line led to the current generation, and not the ancestor of all humans who ever lived. But details, details. Well, that's Eve. But what about Adam? Why nuclear Adam is so named? Because his Y chromosome has been passed on. Only males pass on a Y chromosome to the next generation. So Y nuclear Adam is the direct male line ancestor of everyone in the current generation. In this graph, that's this guy. Like mitochondrial Eve, he is not the first man, not the only man in his generation, not the only male progenitor, not the only male whose line led to the current generation, and not the ancestor of all humans who ever lived. Not only that, he's not even married to Eve! They had no children together, didn't have to even know each other, and may not even have lived in the same place. But more than that, the real mitochondrial Eve and why nuclear Adam didn't even exist at the same time. The real mitochondrial Eve has been traced back to 170,000 years ago. But why nuclear Adam wasn't to be born for over 100,000 years. He was only born 60,000 years ago. And again, remember that these are just the most recent common ancestors we have in the mitochondrial and Y nuclear lines. There were others before them. And there were probably a lot of common ancestors since then who didn't pass on their lineage in an unbroken line of male-only or female-only descent. Remember that even one male in an otherwise female-only line or one female in an otherwise male-only line will break the chain so they can't even be said to be our most recent common ancestors.